A lucky few Adelaide battlers are primed to become multi-millionaires just by subdividing their land. But a plan to allow high-density housing in Salisbury Heights has some locals seeing red rather than dollar signs. Five acres of land at Salisbury Heights has been Bernardina Agostinelli's home for the past 28 years, but lately it's become a burden. It's too much for me to look after the property. Very tough for me, I'm a woman, I'm getting older, no younger. <laughs> Salisbury Council is considering allowing residents like her to subdivide into 650 square metre allotments worth an estimated $250,000 each, in which case this 62-year-old wouldn't have to worry about money again. Oh, if this goes through, I can go over 30 properties on my block of land and it will change my life. Oh, it's a huge amount of money, so it could certainly change their life if they want to subdivide and do that. It's not for everyone. It's a rotten idea. It'll ruin the area. Residents of the same opinion engaged in a public slanging match with a local councillor last week. But councils all over Adelaide are relaxing planning laws to foster growth. From Bowden, here in the city, where there is no minimum site area per dwelling, to those much further out of town. Mount Barker and Onkaparinga councils are both encouraging development. With the right blocks, certainly with a flick of a pen, the value can substantially increase. Justine Northey, Nine News.